Hello everyone! I am back today with a fun mixed media layout. So I created this layout to go along with one of the challenges for the Secret Not Secret Kit Club. We have a monthly scrapbooking party and there are lots of challenges and lots of fun and this was for one of our challenges. So one of our challenges is always given to us by a designer or a manufacturer within the scrapbook industry and this particular challenge was given to us by Vicki Booten. So it seemed only right to use her pro some of her products to create my layout. Uh, her uh, challenge was to layer on three different kinds of mixed media and so I'm starting with Shimmer's Paint in Celery. I'm using my wide brush from Brutus Monroe and I am just giving myself a nice wide paint swash up and down, up the side of the page. You also notice that I marked where my photos were going to go and that helped me to decide how wide to make that little swash of green. Now, uh, after I let that dry for just a bit, I'm going to take some gloss spray. Sp oh, my brain just went to lunch. Gloss spray. This is a new product. It's from Diana Wackley for Ranger, and it's fabulous. And I went ahead and dropped some of that. What's fabulous about it is that it's acrylic gloss spray. So it's almost like a watered down acrylic paint. So it sits on top of whatever it is you splatter it onto or spray it onto, it does not soak in, which is really cool. So it's gonna sit on top of that beautiful craft paper and it's just gonna dry just like that. And then once I have, once all of that dries, I'm gonna come in with this stencil, which is also from Brutus Monroe. I'm gonna be working with some animal photos today and I decided those little paw prints would be really, really cute. And there are my two photos. It doesn't matter to me that uh, the animals in my photos are kangaroos. And um, this was probably meant to be a dog or a cat paw. <laughs> Decided I didn't care. So once that is dry, I am taking some Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. Now this is the first time I've ever used Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. Um, it's really interesting. It has a kind of a cool texture to it. And I think the name of this one is Almond Butter. I, I actually got it from the... Um, Nouveau from Tonic's website, they had a sale. And I went ahead and got some a couple colors of this. And I do really like how it goes on. It goes on really smooth, which I really, really like. So I'm going to go ahead and put this through this stencil in two areas to kind of create this, um, I don't know, like paw print. It looks a little jaggy right now, like it looks a little off, but once I get my pictures and my paper and all that kind of stuff on it. So it had to dry and it had to dry for a while and it's very, very warped because this craft paper is just regular craft paper, eight and a half by 11, um, no special weight, it's actually quite thin. So I'm going to end up using this entire uh, sheet. I'm not gonna gut this. I'm gonna use this whole sheet of paper to really kind of stabilize the mixed media paper and I decide on this one with the stripey colors I thought that they were really pretty and I did kind of go ahead and audition a couple of other papers pattern papers behind the craft and I just really liked how this one kind of popped behind that craft paper so all of these products and supplies are from my stash I'm using uh, mostly Vicki Booten's color kaleidoscope kaleidoscope collection. I chose two colors, two pattern papers from the 6x8 paper pad and I'm going to go ahead and mat my photos onto them and I'm just going to give them a really small mat just to give them some separation from the background. I'm adhering my pictures down using Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to really get a good adhesion to all that mixed media because I'm putting the photos right over the mixed media. So you can see here how those little paw prints are kind of just sticking up from around the photo and I love the way that looks. I think it works really well for my pictures and what I am documenting today. So these two photos are photos from June of 2018 when we took our boys to this amazing uh, local, well it's not super local, it's a bit of a drive away, but it's called uh, Living Treasures Animal Park, and they have all different animals. And they're so cute. And I took so many amazing pictures at this that I have a couple of layouts I'm going to do, but then 
I also have an entire traveler's notebook dedicated to just this one trip because that's just how many pictures I ended up with that I wanted to document. And so a lot of the pictures that I have set aside to document in the traveler's notebook aren't necessarily of things my boys did or enjoyed at the at the animal park. It's a lot of photos, just amazing photos I got of animals uh, that I didn't, they were just lovely. And so that album is going to be more like my art album, which is just for me and just because I love those pictures I took of the animals. And I'll probably be working on that soon, so you'll probably get some Traveler's Notebook pages using those pictures. I'm adding some puffy stickers, and I'm adding some hearts. Um, that camera is bugging me, and the second that I can find myself something that isn't going to be that camera in that spot, it just was too big and I just wasn't happy with it. Uh, I'm going to actually end up using one of the stickers from the layered sticker book. This is one of my very favorite sticker books. Unfortunately, none of the stickers stick, so there's that, but just add some extra adhesive to the bottom and move on. So I'm going to go ahead and use this sticker to cover up, or in place of the camera that I didn't like, and now I'm just going to decide how I want all of my clusters to be organized, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and start sticking them down with glue. The nice thing is, when you're using these American Crafts collections where things don't stick, um, it's a great way to audition things because you know you can pull them up, that they're not going to stick. Um, so you can really get to audition different things and decide what you want to use. Now I'm going in with to add my title, which is going to be Kanga Love, because my boys are sitting down in front of these open cages where the kangaroos were um, and feeding them carrots. You're allowed to do this. That's how, what this animal park is all about. The animals literally are kind of just like roaming around and they're amazing, very well cared for. The animal park has a really great reputation around here. So I went ahead and did Kanga Love because they're feeding the kangaroos the baby carrots and they're petting them and that one kangaroo just laid by the boys the whole time it was like thanks thanks for the pets and thanks for the carrots <laughs> so that's going to complete this one here's a close-up so you can really get to see these fun photos and I will see you all again later today with Chamel Sketches Reimagined bye <laughs>